Hi, this is Jerome Stein. Welcome to a day in the life of a nice Jewish guy. I had promised you that yesterday I would go to Delhi News, take you along with me, see another deli, and, well, it's really actually the only other deli in the city other than Cindy's. And Cindy's is not so much as a, a deli as, um, I think of it as kind of a diner sort of restaurant, but it's kind of a Jewishy deli, um, Owned by, interestingly enough, a lady who came here from Vietnam many years ago now, and she's made that into like a mini chain of four restaurants. It's pretty amazing. I, and she's a really impressive, generous woman. Um, so let me tell you about uh, Deli News. Deli News, I'm going to tell you about my time there, okay? And if you're bored, just, well, turn me off. Um, so Deli News is kind of like um, a very old-fashioned deli. It's also owned by an immigrant, by a man who uh, originally came here from Russia. But it's a very tiny place, It's got, but it's got about 30 tables, and it's always crowded, always full. Um, so I think of it as more of a traditional deli. It's not a kosher deli, because it's got bacon um, and uh, things like that on the menu. But uh, it's... Uh, it's a really good place. And I had matzo ball soup, which I love, and I really wanted those matzo balls. Um, my parents called them kanadalach, because that's a word in Yiddish, kanadal, okay? Which is the Jewish language from Eastern Europe. So anyhow, I um, got that. Ma and they're made in, um, the matzo balls are cooked and then put into chicken soup. Right? Um, and they're made from matzah, which is that cracker-like thing that we eat at Passover. It's dry. I don't really love it, but it's made from matzah meal, which means it's grind, it's grinded down, ground down. That's what it is. It's ground down. Anyways. So anyway, uh, and, you know, matzah, of course, was that bread that didn't, have time to rise, so when uh, the children of Israel were leaving Egypt in a hurry to get away from Pharaoh, or the current Pharaoh, and um, Moses rushed them out of the country, it's the only time, I think, that Jews went that fast. So fast that they couldn't even properly bake their bread. Honey, come on, we gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go. We don't have time to bake the bread. Take it with you, drop it, we'll see how it turns out, we'll be okay. But we gotta go, now. Move it. That's what happened. Really, the fastest Jews ever moved in history. Um, and uh, so that's the deal, and I have their white fish, which I really like. They make it more traditional sandwich. So that was good, that was fun. I went with my family, my family. Well, their family. Friends, um, Bobby Stein and her husband, um, Reed Warnick. Um, they're not related family, but they're really cool people. Um, and we had a good time, and we enjoyed ourselves, and that was good. So um, that's the exciting story of Delhi News. And I just wanted, I felt mostly bad that I hadn't given you guys a uh, an update, a story, telling you know anything that was going on. What I haven't done is told you more about who I am. So... This is who I am. Um, I am the father of two children who are now in their 20s. Here they are. Jordan and Reed. Um, and uh, I, uh, I was born in Toronto. Um, oh, Jordan lives in California. Reed lives in Missouri. Um, now, and they're both college grad, left college and out of college and on their own. Um, and I still am showing you a picture of carpeting. Carpeting that's kind of a mess. And I'm going to be moving soon, so it's going to be even more of a mess, but that's another story. Um, so what was I going to tell you? Um, so... Um, so that's, um, I've worked for th a long time, like 30-something years. I know, I only look 22. But, uh, and I, uh, 
as a lawyer, practice law, practice family law primarily, divorce, um, child custody, things like that. Paternity, that kind of fun stuff. And so um, I, I did all that um, for a long time. And uh, now I'm a mediator. I had gotten sick. I had COVID. I had a really bad case of COVID. I had a, another health problem like a couple of years before that. So I did that. I also have, a, I was married for 24 years. I'm no longer married. I had a great wife. She's a great person. She's a very talented artist. Um, and, uh, and now I'm mediating, which is trying to get people to agree on disputes, mostly in divorce matters or family law matters. And I'm also, um, doing what's called, I created a new field. I, well, I think I did because I don't know anybody else doing this. I'm a litigation strategist, which means from the very beginning of a case, um, through the entire case, I help people strategize on the best way for um, them to go forward and move the case along. And I work primarily for one guy, great guy, um, but um, I really enjoy that. Uh, so what was I going to tell you? Oh, Earl Jackson is his name. Remember that name. He's a great guy. Um, so I also am an actor and a singer. Surprise! So that's why I'm so shy, I think. Um, but I enjoy that too. I do a lot of theater. I haven't done anything since the pandemic, and I'm kind of itching to. Um, and I sing. I think okay. And I think good. Actually, good. More than okay. Good. I think I'm good. Yeah, we'll go for good, okay? Um, not the best, but good. I can't dance. Or, really, I cannot dance. I'm a bad dancer, ask anybody. Cannot dance. Call a guy named Neil Whitmore, who's my director, who calls my dance step the Jerome, okay? Yeah, okay. Anyways, um, I'm, I'm bad. So, um, and I just, um, I just, um, from this up, I was born in Toronto. My parents moved to Edmonton. I just lost my fantastic, and then Portland, Oregon. Um, I went to from fourth grade all the way through high school. I went to the University of Washington, Seattle. I went to University of Puget Sound for law school, which is in Tacoma, Washington. Um, and then it was bought. My law school was purchased. Can you believe it? By um, Seattle University, and the law school moved to. Seattle! Anyways, um, so all were on road to leave to Seattle, which is a beautiful place. And then um, I came here um, in ninth, full time. My parents moved here in 77. My dad was director of uh, the major communal organization, the Jewish Federation of Greater Dallas. Um, my mom had been a librarian and then she sold the real estate. She's been gone for a long time. Um, and my dad died in 2018 um, at 92 years old. He had cancer. He wrote, um, sent an email out to me and my kids saying, don't freak out, but I've decided not to have any more care. It's been a good run. And that's how he announced it. He wasn't going to get any more treatment. I had a sister, Deborah, who also died from cancer. And I have a, a nephew, Mika. Oh, my God, this kid is cool. He is. He went to NYU. And now, he's working on being a comedian. I think that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Anyway, um, so that's about me. And then if you have any other questions about me, uh, you know, you can ask. I don't know if I'll tell you. But um, you can send me an email at um, Jerome Stein 36 J E R O M E S T E I N 36 at gmail.com if you have any questions. And I'll see if I can run them by. Okay, well, listen, I hope we make I hope this is somewhat interesting to a few people there, here and there, here, here, here. Um, I had a really good interview yesterday from Daily News. Just regular folks, great regular folks, Bobby and Reed, 
and uh, it just didn't work out. And now I'm looking at my phone and I see why it didn't work out, and I'm too embarrassed to tell you the reason. Because I kept on putting the phone on pause instead of record. Okay, that's it. I put the phone on pause instead of record. Uh, kill me, why don't you? I'm not technical. It's amazing I figured out how to do a YouTube channel. And really, it's pretty primitive, you got to admit. Okay? All righty. Well, I'll see you soon. Hopefully tomorrow. I've got a big going to trial with Earl tomorrow. Um, but I'll talk to you at the end of the day. Thanks. 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 Good to see you all.